All right, good day everybody and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on vPilot and VATSIM and just getting it set up for FSX and FS2020. So first of all, we're going to want to go to our browser, open that up. Then you're going to want to go to vatsim.net. All right, after this, you can either come down here to join here um, on the home page, or you can go to pilots and getting started. After this, you can go to, I mean, here they have all your information first, so you can read this, and it has more information probably than I'll put in here. And then uh, here you can click join VATSIM here. So here it has your useful documents. It's got the user agreement, code of conduct, and privacy policy. Code of conduct especially important, knowing how you're expected to act on VATSIM and what people will expect of you. After this, come up over here to the sign-up page. So after you're on the sign-up page, this is what it's going to look like. So read all of this first, and then it'll give you more information on filling it out. I guess you're gonna to have to do a new member orientation and exam right here, a training and exam, yeah. And so back when I got on VATSIM, they didn't have all this new fancy stuff and they were on their old website and everything. So I never had to do that, but they're doing it now. So yeah, uh, shouldn't be too difficult, especially if you've been flying for a while. So fill out this information, your name, and it's got to be your full first and last name. Um, all this information, then down here on select a region, select the region you live in. So uh, for example, we'll go Americas, and then here's a division within the region. After that, uh, click that you have accepted these uh, code of regulations, code of conduct, and user agreement, and then register. And then after you register, after you register, you're going to have to log in, and I will show you which page that takes you to. So after you log in, come over here, uh, come down to your drop down on the left to Learning Center after it brings you over to your dashboard. Come down here to Learning Center, click on that, and then come over here to VATSIM Basics and then click on the drop down and then click on pilot clients get connected after you're on here it's the very first one vpilot so i use microsoft flight simulator 2020 and fsx and in parentheses next to the client link it will tell you which flight simulator it is meant for now vpilot has the new audio uh, installed with it so you don't have to download the separate audio client but for Swift, you need the uh, you need the separate audio client in order to work it with voice. Anyways, so that's just yeah, it's a little bit harder to set up Swift, and I tried it one time, but then I was like, ah, I'll go back to my I'll go back to my old one. So here you'll need to download VPilot, and since we're doing it on FS2020 and FSX, this is all we're gonna need. So click on the link. After you're on the vPilot homepage, on the upper left, there's a download button. Download this latest stable version. And then click Save. Oops, I did not mean to do that because I have it already, but that's OK. Anyways, it will download for you. And now after this, you're going to need to go to FSUIPC and you'll need this before you can actually connect to your flight simulator. So for FSX, go to FSUIPC 4.976. For FSX, FSX Steam Edition and P3D 1.4.3.4. And then after you download this, you will also need the Wide FS7 client, and that will help FSUIPC actually connect with your simulator. And now that's for FSX. Now for Microsoft Flight Simulator, the new one, you're going to need FSUIPC7, and it says for MSFS only. Okay, so you're going to need to download this. 
as well as FSU IPC 4.976 if you want to fly both FSX or P3D and FS2020, which is what I do, so I have both of them. But with both of them, you will still need wide FS7 client. So, and just FS2020, just download FSU IPC 7. And just FSX, you know. But with either one, you're still going to need the wide FS7 client. So you don't need the registered version. You can use the free version, and it'll be perfectly fine. It'll work great. That's what I use. I don't have the registered version. Um, anyways, if you have any trouble, let me know in the comments. But that should have you all set up. And I will be releasing a tutorial on after vPilot is set up and once you're in the simulator or setting up vpilot after it's downloaded i should say anyways thank you all for watching have a wonderful day